All right, so in uh, this video here, we're gonna take a look at the new firmware update that came out at the end of October uh, from Unique for the Typhoon H and the ST16. We'll take a look at some of the new camera modes that uh, Unique has added, which I think are pretty cool. So stay tuned, check this out. Here you can see I'm running firmware version 3.01.B25 on the ST16. Uh, the camera also has version 32.24 and that's from the 28th of October 2016 firmware update. I'm gonna run through some of the features that are now available on the Typhoon H due to the 28th of October firmware update. Most of the features involve the camera. There's behind the scene features for stability and flying, uh, but some of the cool features that you're gonna notice right away are in the camera, so we'll go through them. So I'm in camera mode, I go right here to photo mode. We could always take pictures in JPEG, oop, JPEG format or DNG format, which is raw. But now you can select DNG plus JPEG. So when you click the camera shutter button, you can actually save the photos in both formats. Uh, the reason you might wanna do that is because maybe you're not too sure what you're gonna do to the photo in post-production. JPEG photos, you can kind of enhance them a little bit in post-production, but they usually look terrible and you can tell right away because people over sharpen them. DNG photos are raw. Uh, anything that's lost in the shadows, you can easily bring back and you can set the white balance really nicely in DNG. You don't have to worry about any of that. that. You just point, shoot, and worry about all the settings later when you do it in post-production. The next feature that came out in this update is the histogram, which photographers have had for a very long time on cameras. And let me find it, here it is. So you can switch it on or off. I'm gonna turn it on and you get this nice little diagram. I'm just gonna move it over where I would put it, which would be over on the left. So a histogram, all it is is it's showing you the light that is in the photo that you are framing. So here, this line on the left are the dark images in this photo, and the line on the right are the not so dark images. So watch this, if I turn off the light, everything obviously goes to the left because the image is too dark. The camera is trying to compensate but it says, I can't get any more light in there. That's the best I can do. And your image is gonna have spots that are underexposed. Turn the light back on. And it should adjust itself out. Now we come to one of my favorite new features, which is the metering mode. So in the past, if you had your Typhoon H and you were flying, Anything that was white was always blown out. You could never make out what the whites were. There was no contrast in them. So now with metering mode, you can fix that. So let's see. The default is always gonna be average metering because that's what it's been since the day you bought your Typhoon H. Average metering means that anything that's white in here is averaged out with everything that is black in here. So now you have a new one called center metering. So I'm gonna show you what that is. The only thing being metered is this area here. So all the blacks are very black. Anything that's white in the center, correct exposure. So if I pull that box away, watch what happens. All of a sudden the center is gonna be the black drum set. So the image should around the edges get lighter. And if I put the box back on center metering, the image around the edges should get darker. Now the other option is something that's been on Phantom aircrafts for quite some time, which is really cool, is spot metering. So if I go to spot metering, now wherever I touch the screen, you can watch the histogram here, wherever I touch on the screen will be what is metered. So if I pick the blacks, the whole scene is now gonna try to compensate for just this black area up here. So this white is blown out all these whites back here, everything, and the picture will start to look out of focus. If you overexpose a picture, it's always gonna look out of focus. I can no longer see the CD in the center of that diagram, but if I wanna see what the CD and the contrast in the white area, I'll click on the CD someplace in here. All right, I got it. So now the CD is properly exposed and everything else is not properly exposed. So another camera option they've added on this new update is burst mode. So if I go here to photo mode, we've always had single mode right here, which takes one picture when you hit the shutter. But now they've added a new one called burst. And when I select burst, 
this little option opens up over here on the side and I can select either burst photo number three, five or seven. That means how many photos do you want to take per second? And yes, it does actually take seven photos in a second. Okay, so the typhoon is right up there someplace over my shoulder. And I'm going to try out the burst mode. So the burst mode is something you use if you're filming something that's moving quickly because it's going to shoot. I've got it set for seven shots. I'm going to take seven shots in one second. So hopefully that worked because I was looking kind of like a fool to all the people around here. Another great feature that Unique has added besides burst mode, if I click on it, I have, let's just get this out of the way, the histogram, move it over here, is time-lapse. So I'm in time-lapse mode now. I have no other options over here. As you can see, there's nothing on this side. So basically that's all there is. So when you're in time-lapse mode, when I hit the camera button down there to start the camera, it's gonna take a photo once every second. And if I hit the camera button again, it's gonna stop taking photos. So it could do that for the life of the battery. If you can fly for 15 or 16 minutes on a battery, it's gonna take a photo every second for 15 or 16 minutes. Okay, so now I have the Typhoon. It's in uh, smart mode on my controller. And I've got it in the uh, watch me mode. And the camera, I have it in time lapse. So basically it takes one photo per second. So I'm just gonna walk along here and it should just capture me as I'm walking. So I'm going to hit the start camera. My screen says it's taking one second per se uh, one photo per second. I'll walk and it should just capture me as I'm doing my walk. One of the benefits of the Typhoon H is that it has a 360 degree camera. The camera can rotate 360 degrees, so Unique in this latest firmware has added something pretty cool. You have in panorama mode, you have single layer 360 degree camera or double layer 360 degree camera. When you're in single layer 360 degree camera, the camera will actually rotate 360 degrees and take eight photos. When you're in double layered 360 degree camera, the camera will rotate 360 degrees and take eight photos and then it will rotate again 360 degrees and take eight photos. But on the second pass, it will tilt the camera at a 45 degree angle. And then it will take two extra photos looking downward. So here's the typhoon in the air, a little bit of a wind today. I'm at the beach, cloudy day, and I'm gonna do the panorama. I'm just gonna do a single pass and we'll see how the camera turns. So I'm back here at the controller. It's all set to go. I just hit the camera button and it should work and I'll run over to the Typhoon. So the camera will start doing its panorama, taking a shot each, each of its eight times that it's gonna turn. It takes about 40 seconds to turn around. And it's pretty much done. So there we go, the Typhoon's taken eight photos and now we're gonna try the double pass. So the difference on the double layer, so it's just finished the eight photos, now watch what's gonna happen. It's gonna turn the camera down, probably about 45 degrees, and it's gonna go around and take eight more photos. It's like when the camera turns, it affects the Typhoon. The Typhoon seems to move a little bit. And now, it should flip down and look downward. And there we go. And then the camera will go back to center and should be done. And this is what a dual layer 360 panorama looks like. As you can see, enough photos have been taken to stitch together a full 360. You can see there's two, looks like there's double of me down below. 
Uh, that's because I moved as the camera was uh, taking two separate pictures. But this is basically what you get. And all those little logo uh, marks that are in the photo, that's because I'm just using some trial software and uh, they put their logo all over the, uh, the screen. So here I have the Typhoon H way up in the sky. I can't see it. There it is. So I have it up at about uh, 200 feet up in the sky and it's going to make a huge panorama. So there you have it. Unique has done a great job with adding these new, very usable camera features to the Typhoon H. Until next time, fly safe.